Welcome to the ITU studio in Geneva on the occasion of GSR 18, the Global Symposium for Regulators 2018. And I've got the great pleasure of being in the studio today with Dr. Kemal Husenovic, who is Chief of the, the Department of Infrastructure, Enabling Environment and E-Applications for ITU. Dr. Kemal Husenovic, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much, Max, for this kind of invitation. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. Now, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about GSR for people who are uninitiated. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about what is GSR? Why is it an important event in ITU's calendar? Thank you for the question, Max. Uh, GSR is an uh, ITU annual flagship event and it brings uh, all important relevant stakeholders from the ICT ecosystem. So ITU uh, provides value to the membership, member states, bringing together representatives of administrations, regulators, policy makers, industry companies, software and hardware providers, vendors, research centers, academia, and uh, every year uh, GSR is dealing with very topical issues. So the membership as well as industry and sector members, they find a value to share the experience, knowledge, information, networking, and um, to be right on the time with the new developments in the ICT sector. What are the, some of the topics being discussed here? This year, the theme of the GSR is New Regulatory Frontiers. The focus will be on artificial intelligence and emerging technologies that are transforming power and how they are expanding the frontiers to the new regulatory frontiers to a new horizon. Some of the themes of the sessions that are very interesting and uh, very hot topics in this time it's uh, privacy and data protection, uh, digital identity, of course, artificial intelligence, blockchain technologies, Internet of Things, uh, big data, and uh, 5G, and, and other topics too. And when you talk to the people who are attending uh, GSR, what do you do? You find that there's a there's a commonality among them. Do you find that uh, that there are um, essentially uh, things that they particularly enjoy, that they particularly appreciate about this conference? Absolutely, this is one of the most prestigious events and the gatherings of the regulators, first of all, but also policy makers and other stakeholders from the field. And they see this as a great opportunity to talk to the peers, uh, to get a fresh outlook, what's going on in the sector at the moment and what should be a way forward. And they see uh, GSR is able to provide them that value. I say enjoy because there's been a lot of uh, people who've been in the studio uh, up to now and they've all seemed to have a great dynamism about them. They, they seem to be very, uh, they, they seem to be enthusiastic, but they also seem to be also, of course, uh, very concerned about uh, making sure that the future is, uh, is safe in terms of cyber security, etc. What are some of the topics that, that, that uh, are particularly, do you think, or the outcomes, let's say, uh, that uh, you hope will come, come from this uh, symposium? I believe we are in the right time, in the right place, of course, ITU, and with the right people who will discuss these hot topics like cybersecurity and new emerging technologies uh, like artificial intelligence, blockchain technologies, and others. Of course, there are some concerns what AI and other emerging technologies will bring in the future. Definitely, they will completely change the landscape of the workforce in the world. So, it is, people are feared, they are scared that they might lose their jobs because they need to uh, adapt to the new circumstances. They, knew t they need to learn new skills. And um, it's also a part of the job that ITU is doing, capacity building, helping countries to build their institutional, national capacities, human capacity building. And it helps countries to, to better accept and embrace uh, forthcoming challenges in this regard. And from ITU's perspective, or should we be optimistic or cautious about the future in terms of these technologies? Of course, always optimistic. That should be approached. They, we are human beings and we are controlling in the moment everything. We can shape the future, of course. Everything is in our hands. It depends on us how we are going to shape it. What uh, future we should aim for? What do we want to achieve in the future? How we are going to approach to the artificial intelligence? So everything is up to us. 
Dr. Mel Hench. Senevich, thank you very much indeed for joining us in the studio today. It was my pleasure. Great pleasure, Max. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, do check out our other videos on the ITU YouTube channel and uh, podcasts on the ITU SoundCloud channel as well. And thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thanks.